your subject for us, for mus musicians. Uh, okay. This is actually part of the music curriculum. Ah, I oh, see. Okay. You have statistics. Yes, okay. because, uh, you know, USC is a private institution mm -hmm. and it falls under the Dep Ed curriculum. So it really goes hand in hand because yeah. it's necessary for the course. It what? is necessary for everybody, cutie, not, not just musicians. I think right. math and maybe even statistics, it's a practical way. Really, yeah, to I had to take that. Okay. So has there ever been a time that you wanted to play or you had a big concert coming up and then your fingers weren't really... Um, do you ever get like in the finger mood. aches <laughs> in or, the mood. or in the mood I don't play. know, like cramps or... Does it ever happen? Well, so far, knock on whatever this upholstery is, I, it has not happened to me. Uh, we, of <laughs> course, uh, know how to anticipate the uh, needs of the concert. So, for example, you have a concert coming. At least a week or two before, you, you have to be already prepared. Well, like, what sort kind of preparation? Of preparation? Yeah, well, definitely prepared. practice. Practice that you memorize the piece and the memory is quite automatic. That you don't have to think what the next note is. Uh -huh. You know, it takes a while. Actually, it takes more time to be secure in one's memory than in memorizing itself. Because okay, okay, it takes one night to be secure in one's, one's memory, memory than to memorizing. Memorize. Like, for okay. example, let, let's say a non-musical uh, activity, like memorizing a poem. Mm -hmm. Say, let's say the, the first line of the poem is the quick brown fox jumps mm -hmm. over the lazy dog. Yes. So let's say the first line goes like that. So initially, when you're starting to memorize you know, the quick, and then you know that brown comes after quick, but since it's not automatic yet, so you say the quick, uh, yes, brown, yes, fox, you know. Mm -hmm. So there is some hesitation, yes. right? But in piano playing, as with music performances, there is no time for hesitation. There's no room for that. Uh -huh. When you play a note, the next note should already come out right away. It cannot be like you have to think, what's my first, what's my next note? So that's what I mean by security of memory. You can memorize a piece, you, you know what's next, but it doesn't come right away. You have mm -hmm. to think first what's next. Yes. You know? Not for every note necessarily, but for occasional notes, sometimes you, you have to think first what is next. And it takes time to, to smoothen that out. Mm -hmm. You have to play the piece so many times, of course, with some focus also and concentration. So, you know, as I listen to him, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> and does he get nervous? Do you of get course. nervous? Yeah. Of course, everyone gets nervous. Remember okay. we watched him and the rubies for us yeah. at the CCP and how many standing ovations did he get? Oh no. my gosh, it was beautiful. Oh my I gosh, will they never did not forget stop. that show. Thank you to Cutie. I was her date. How many standing ovations do you get, remember getting? Did, did you even get to count after the end time? There were so um. many. I don't know. I mean, what's the, he is what's so the, humble. He I will never know. answer. What is the feeling like? I mean, it hasn't gotten into your head. I mean, no, we're, he's so down We'll be the ones who make payabang for you. <laughs> but I mean, really. Well, th there is that great sense of fulfillment after a performance. Of course, you assume that the performance is good. Otherwise, you would feel miserable the whole night. Mm -hmm. But we try to ensure that uh, a performance is always risky. Right? Uh, that is why it's called a performance because you are you're suddenly the spotlight is on you, no room for hesitation, no room for mistake, or no room for whatever. So we try to prepare as best as we can. There is no such thing as perfection in our art. No matter how good you are, there's bound to be some error here and there. But those errors do not really measure up to the, the degree of uh, excellence of the art. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like tennis, again, we go back to tennis. For example, the world champion, the number one champion. Yes. Even if he wins every tournament, there are some mistakes that he will do, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's why the opponent also scores sometimes. So it's the same way with us. It's not that every note is perfect. Sometimes, even if a note is not perfect, even if a note is correct, uh, we are not satisfied with the way we, we play it. Uh -huh. it's, in piano playing, it's not enough to play a note. There is a way to play that note. Like Some, the pressure you put the in? The pressure, the, the balance it has with the other voices, etc. Those are many of the factors that come in which the lay listener may not be able to appreciate. What's the there. nicest venue you've ever played, played at? Uh, one of the nicest, I wouldn't say the nicest. One of the more memorable ones was the Sydney Town Hall in Australia. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, the Alice Tully Hall that's in New York. And uh, 
Film life, I guess. Well, uh-huh. CCP also is good. The oh, main yeah. theater of CC. So is there such a thing as warming up your fingers before you play? I mean, are there any exercises that you do? Well, some have to do that in order to minimize their nerves. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have to do that. I just concentrate a little on what I have to do. Mm-hmm. Did Because anybody else from your family continue playing the piano? Or like your cousins, your, your siblings? No, well, in my family, as well as my clan, I, I am the only musician. My mother used to take piano lessons before, but she was a pharmacist. Mm-hmm. One of my aunts uh, taught piano also, and one of my cousins advanced to the junior recital level. But as to really end as a profession, uh, I was the only one who lost his head. So <laughs> In a good way. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. Okay, so we're going to hear more, and I still, until now, wish that we had a piano here. Right? Yeah, I really, I really love the piano. I do. We'll try to knock down the door uh, after the break. Really? Yes. You're giving me hope. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have more on Raul Suniko pag sa pagbabalik po ng She Said, She Said. Okay, Wales. Okay.